You, directly to camera? Uh, yeah. Or off, off a little bit? Um, directly to the camera, yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Hi, my name is John Keating, and I'm an actor in Los Angeles. And then let's try one where you look the other way. Go ahead. Hi, my name is John Keating, and I'm an actor in Los Angeles. My type is, I look like an average Joe character Midwesterner who has the essence of being quiet, decent, shy, harmless, friendly, and goofy that could be typed as an employee, conservative, middle management, dad, or religion nut and could be cast as a computer technician, accountant, car salesman, IRS employee, city hall clerk, scientist, or dentist. I have an acting coach who talks about having a quality that he calls insouciance, which apparently is a French word. I'm not familiar with it. But it's almost a carefree, not careless, but a carefree attitude toward your work. And whenever I'm working and whenever I see someone who does great work, they have that quality about them. As well as, in addition to that, what I strive for in my work and what I look for in actors who do great work is being what he also calls a force of nature, where you're just caught up in it. And you might not even be, be, be able to explain why. I'm originally from the Midwest, uh, the Kansas City, Kansas area. I moved back out to LA in 2003. Yeah, I moved out here uh, in the late 80s and the early 90s, and then for a variety of reasons, moved back to Kansas City in, in the early 90s and took some time off from acting and just lived a regular work-a-day world life and uh, decided I couldn't give it up. So uh, I made preparations to get back out here. I love Cary Grant. He's my favorite actor, movie star, producer. I love Patrick Stewart and his work. I've always had a soft spot in my heart for William Shatner. And he seems to have sort of a devil-may-care attitude about what other people think of what he's doing. I think when you're connected to your heart and you're in the moment, that's the hallmark of a great actor and great acting. I worked a regular nine to five job for a couple of years and I realized that I wasn't staying true to the artist in me. I've, I've always had artistic tendencies. When I was a boy, I used to draw cartoons and uh, I would draw from Mad Magazine. I loved the artist Mort Drucker and I would draw him. And I also loved uh, in junior high and high school performing in plays. And, and I knew, I just loved the the, the applause. I loved performing and making people laugh. Is one time in high school, I was working at the movie theater as an usher and behind the concession stand. And it was an after a screening of Terms of Endearment. I was watching the crowd as they were filing out as the credits were rolling. And down at the very front of the row, I was in the back of the auditorium, and at the very front of the row, there was a family who was speaking in hushed tones, and then all of a sudden they started hugging each other. 
and I realized what a powerful medium filmmaking was and it appeared to me as though this family was brought together and actually had a chance to glow close, uh, grow closer because of what they had seen in this film and I realized I want to be able to affect people in a positive way like that and I realized by working my nine to five job I wasn't staying true to that so that's the main reason I decided to come back to Hollywood. I'm in the minority with uh, the support I get from my family. I, my family is really supportive of my decision to be in Los Angeles pursuing an acting career and I feel very lucky that I have their support. They miss me of course. They would love it if I were around but they know that this is what I want to do and I stay in touch with them as much as I can but I know that I've got their support because they know that I'm pursuing what I love to do. So I'm one of the lucky few. I've got a supportive family who loves me and, and wants me to be the best at whatever it is that I want to do. And I feel the same way about them and their pursuits and what they're doing. So I think I'm the exception to the rule when it comes to families. Handling rejection is uh, an interesting uh, idea. Um, the way I kind of handle re rejecting uh, rejection, uh, at least on the audition side of things, is I'm I, I prepare for my audition. I go in, I do my best work, and then when I'm finished, I let it go. And that's that's the best way to uh, that I found to handle my rejection in terms of auditions and realizing that it's not me that's being rejected um, it's just uh, for this particular role for this particular part I'm not that person I, I had a I, one of my uh, one of my favorite things to do is uh, personal development and one of my gurus uh, throughout the years has been Wayne Dyer and he had a uh, an interesting philosophy listening to one of his tapes that he talked about and he said he was on an airplane and he was talking to the flight attendant and there was a delay and people were going to be getting off the plane and she was kind of confiding in him saying wow I just it's so difficult when this happens because people are going to come off the plane and they're going to be complaining to me and mad at me and blah 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 and he said well when when the people are doing that instead of you know, taking it in, just just think that they're saying it to the uniform, the uniform that you're wearing. They're not talking to you, the person, they're talking to the uniform. And that you don't have to let that get in and affect you, just let it know it's a uniform. And then when you respond to them, just respond kindly and, uh, you know, wish them well. And so she said she did that, and she said it was just amazing. So it's 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 knowing that uh, if I get a no, it's not about me. Uh, I don't make it about me as a human being pursuing my art on this planet. I try to let it be a no to my uniform as an actor. don't submit myself on projects uh, at this point anymore. I, I decided to take a break from that. The casting director, Bonnie Gillespie, says you got to find your people. So, uh, you know, people who get you. And so, uh, a lot of what I spend my normal routine on is meeting people and staying in touch with them. That's, that's my main focus. And it's particularly, in particular, staying in touch with people who I feel like are my people. One of the big differences uh, when it comes to success is just never giving up. I think some people make it because they don't give up um, and certainly there's a certain amount of luck or grace or whatever but I, one of the one of the things that gives me encouragement was from one of my acting uh, teachers 
um, who had a quote uh, that he either recited or had up on his wall, I don't remember which, but it basically Har Harrison Ford said that uh, a lot of his, he attributed a lot of his success uh, in the fact that um, he didn't give up uh, when a lot of his, the other people who came on the bus with him did. One definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. And I'm not saying that people who do that, who submit themselves are insane because there's, you know, there's uh, millions of reasons to do that. But I'm just saying for me, I, I decided I wanted to take a different approach. I wanted to, um, you know, uh, because of what I, what struck a chord with me, what Bonnie said about finding your people. And also, uh, I oftentimes go to hear people in the industry speak. Um, and a, a common theme I'm finding out from them is they're like, create your own work. Work with people you lo respect and, uh, uh, and who do good work. I am definitely encouraged by my family, uh, my friends. I surround myself with like-minded people who uh, want to do some of the thing same things I want to do. And my, my religion, my spirituality, I, I really uh, have gotten really uh, good at uh, giving things to God that bother me. So, um, not to get too preachy or anything, but I, I really feel like um, uh, I've found a, you know, I don't talk about it a whole lot, but I, I really feel like I found a relationship with my Creator. And that's huge for me. It's, I never thought about it when I was younger, but I'm finding that that is really a powerful thing for me, um, in addition to my family and friends. Um, so if I feel like I'm getting worried or, or uh, something's bothering me or I, I'm getting negativity in my life, I just kind of give it up to God, <laughs> you know? And that's, um, uh, uh, that's really how I deal, uh, it helps me deal with some of the things that are frustrating. I give up to God the things uh, that are kind of ancillary, the actual pursuit, which can be frustrating. And I don't find, uh, for example, when I'm doing auditions and uh, going about uh, doing the things that actually get me work, um, I really enjoy doing that, particularly like auditioning or performing. Um, but the things that I give up are like worries about uh, financial survival or um, noises out on the street <laughs> or the neighbors, you know, <laughs> upstairs uh, playing things too loud. Um, so it's a sense of letting go of the things that irritate me because from, from the acting that I do, whether it's an audition, a role, a class, um, there's, there's nothing that I want to give up about that, but it's just kind of the everyday being a human being sort of thing where I've got to give it up. It's like, well, the neighbor's playing his uh, loud music again. Okay, I'll do something where I don't have to focus on that. I'll do something that I won't make a phone call because they'll hear it in the background. Um, and uh, basically just uh, a a one thing that I do give up, which I feel is important, is being too hard on myself um, because I've had a tendency to do that in the past. And I really really try to be more forgiving of me and maybe some of the things that I don't feel like I'm doing well and and just getting strength from the fact that if I continue to pursue it intelligently I'll get better at it and it's funny because I've had some real cool personal res re revelations since I moved back to LA, uh, just about me as a human being, and it's really helped me let a, let go of a lot of angst. And it's amazing how how much peace you can have in your life when you let go of some of your angst.
The biggest joy is those moments that I've had. Uh, for example, being on that, that day on the set of Mina Mencia. It's, it's moments like that where you're in the flow, um, to quote a book title. Uh, when you're in the flow, um, when, you're, when you're really connecting and you know you're doing what you love to do. It's still the same huge city, there just seems to be more traffic. Um, uh, but um, I really feel like it's home for me. I don't see myself moving back to Kansas. I really feel like I've established myself here. I love the city, I love the weather, the people are great. I would love to travel more and I'm sure at some point I will, but calling LA home is a good thing right now. It's what I feel I really want to do and need to do for myself. Hi, I'm John Keating and I'm an actor. Thank you.